In today's video, I'm going to be giving you some information about this new cryptocurrency called Ironfish, and then showing you how to set up and run an Ironfish node. From this node, you can earn points and redeem them for real coins when the crypto hits a main net in March. So there are incentives to running these nodes, but firstly, let's get into what Ironfish is. So Ironfish describes itself as a decentralized, proof-of-work-based, censorship-resistant, and publicly accessible blockchain project. It is designed to support strong privacy guarantees on every transaction. They have designed Ironfish to be a new cryptocurrency from the ground up to enable ease of use, fully private payments by closely following the Saplin protocol. Every account is equipped with a view key to grant to its holder read-only permission for the details of that account. So it's following slightly in the footsteps of coins like Monero. Another thing that it mentions is about running nodes, and I'm putting it in here as it relates to the nodes set up later. And it goes on to say, our Ironfish implementation is built such that it can be extended to run a full node directly in the browser with future iterations. And our focus is to lower the barrier of entry to any person with a computer that feels comfortable enough to run a full node. So sometimes for new people in the space, it can be a bit daunting when it comes to running a node by yourself. Many people choose to outsource it because they don't know how to set up the node exactly. So Ironfish is trying to bring this barrier lower so many new users can run a node with less intricate knowledge. Currently, Ironfish has gone through two testnet phases and has just released their new testnet for phase three. So these testnets are for users to interact with the network and find bugs and use the network overall. During these testnets, you can mine Ironfish, then burn mint assets and earn points on a leaderboard. So the way the points work is that Ironfish team has pre-allocated a certain amount of Ironfish tokens to this point system. When you earn points, you can redeem them for Ironfish token when the actual coin is launched. I don't know what the conversion rate will be from points to tokens, but I believe that as long as you have points on the board, then you're eligible for coins when it's released. Now all these processes need to be done in the node, and that's why it's important to show you how to set up a node and run it. I know some people might think it's a thing that takes a lot of knowledge, but it actually is really simple if you follow the steps. So let's get into how to set up and run a node, then how to mint, burn, and send assets on the Ironfish network. Before we set up the node, we need to make an account, and the username is very important for the later steps. So you can just type in your email, then choose a graffiti, which is basically a username. Then you can input your Discord and GitHub if you want, and then click sign up, and it should set up your account, and we can move on to running a node. This step is essential because you need a graffiti for the later steps. Now the easiest way to set up is to follow the guide on the Ironfish website. So here we have the first step and that is to download node.js, which they provide a link for here. When we click this, it takes us to a download page where we have a bunch of different downloads. It says that Ironfish requires version 8 of node.js, so we want to download version 8 here, which is the LTS version. Once that's downloaded, you'll want to open up the exe file and go through the install. You just have to click next for everything and then it should install node.js. It's then going to pop up with a command window after this. It then asks you to click enter and then ask for your admin permission to install a bunch of programs. Just click yes and now it's going to install all the tools needed to run nodes on your system. It's basically stuff like Windows build tools and other various programs. These programs are used to run nodes on Windows machines so you basically need them for this step. Now once you've got all that installed, you can actually set up and start to run a node. Firstly, let's open a new Windows PowerShell in administrator mode. So you type in in the search bar Windows PowerShell and then right click run as admin. Next we need to tell the node where to look for Ironfish. You do this by typing the command Ironfish testnet. Now it will show up with this red warning that basically stops you from running nodes on these systems. So to get rid of this, we actually need to edit the execution policy of your computer. So in this window again, you type set execution policy, then click enter. Now we need to tell the computer to unrestrict the policy. Simply type unrestricted and hit enter again. After that, just type a letter A and hit enter, and it will all go through and process as your policy is unrestricted. Now we can type ironfish testnet again, and it should run and ask for your graffiti or username. Just type that in and press enter. This will then confirm your graffiti and start to download everything needed for running the node. When this telemetry pop-up shows, you want to type Y for yes and click enter. This will enable it to allow the node to sync with the Ironfish website so you can actually earn points on your graffiti. Next, we need to actually run the node. Now, when you run the node, it basically needs to sync all the blocks on the network and get up to date. Once that has downloaded, 
Then you can keep this window open and it will sync automatically when there's a new block formed. All you need to do is keep this running for 12 hours and you'll earn 10 points on the leaderboard. So this node needs to be open and running for you to do other tasks on the network. Once it's fully synced, as it says here, 100%, then you'll know it's running. Now once it's got to full sync, we can start to do tasks that can earn us more points on the leaderboard. These tasks are minting, burning and sending assets. All these will earn points on the leaderboard. Now before you do any of this, you need to get some iron tokens from the network. All you have to do is open up another PowerShell window and type ironfish space faucet. Input your email which corresponds to your account and it will send you some iron tokens into your wallet in around an hour's time. To check if you've received tokens, just type ironfish wallet and then a two dots and then balance. And it should show you the amount in your wallet. Remember that this node needs to be running on the side so your wallet balance can actually update. So just don't touch this node window on the right side here. Alternatively, you can actually just head over to the Ironfish Discord and request some Ironfish tokens from the team. You just need to take your wallet address, which you can find by typing in Ironfish, wallet, and then address. Then it gives you your address and you can copy this and paste it into the Discord. Most of the time, the developers will give out some more coins. Now, when we have your wallet balance, you can actually mint an asset. The command for this is Ironfish Wallet Mint. Then you need to make sure you enter your graffiti in so that you know when to mint, burn or send this asset. Then the network can award you account points. So after you've input your graffiti, then you need to choose the amount to mint for, which can be really low like I've inputted in here. If we look on the website, it says you'll gain 200 points for this and can only be done once a week. So next up, we can actually earn 200 more points for burning this asset. The command line for this will be ironfish wallet burn. Then you choose the asset you just made by clicking enter and again you type in the amount you want to burn. Then this will confirm the burn and give you the confirmation there. So we have minted and burned this asset, that's 400 points. Next we need to mint the asset again and this time we're going to send the asset. So run through the minting setup again and wait for the asset to mint onto the network. To then send an asset we type ironfish wallet send. Then it asks for an address. Now you need to use the Ironfish Bank address, which can be found on the Ironfish website. Copy this address here and paste it into the box on the command window and hit enter. Then pick the mint in amount and confirm the transaction again. After you have done this, it should give you all the points on your account when you go back to the Ironfish page. So you can do this whole process once a week to get leaderboard points. The higher you are, the more coins you'll receive when the crypto goes onto the public mainnet. Now there are other ways to earn points which I can't really show you because they are more dependent on other factors. As you can see here, you can earn points for finding bugs in the chain. So if you think you have found a bug, then you can submit it in a form and include your graffiti. If they find this to be an actual bug, then they'll award you points. Of course, they're hosting nodes by here, which you should be doing anyway. And then lastly, you can submit a pull request to the GitHub. Depending on how big the request is, the more points you'll get. This is one of the best ways to get ahead of people in the points ladder, as there are a lot of points awarded for pull requests. The pull request has to get accepted for you to earn the points, so keep that in mind before you submit one. Now most of the stuff in this tutorial is a bit confusing, but if you have any questions, then join my Discord, or you can join the Ironfish Discord and ask your questions in there. And I'll try to help you out with any questions regarding the setup of this node, or with earning points on the network. I'll include all relevant links to Ironfish in the description below, Make sure to leave a like on the video if it helped you and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.